Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Abandoned Cart Email Reminder for Magento 2. And in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you the admin backend configuration and the work workflow uh, at the front end. And uh, before we pro uh, proceed further, let me give you an overview of this particular extension. So basically, uh, using this e extension, uh, the store owner can send emails to customers who have failed to complete the checkout process successfully and can help to reduce the cart abandonment. And uh, whenever a customer adds a product into the cart and leaves the shopping uh, cart website due to any reason, it becomes basically difficult to track these types of customers. So uh, using this extension, the admin can see the list of all the abandoned cart customers and can send them a follow-up email for completing the checkout process. So let's get ahead and let's see how this extension works. But before that, uh, let's get to the admin backend configuration panel and let's see what different uh, configuration settings are there uh, for this uh, particular uh, module. So here we are on the admin backend panel login page. Uh, so let me log into the admin backend panel first. And after login, we need to navigate through stores, configuration, and after that, we'll be on the uh, configuration page. And here, under the web cool lock, we have the abandoned cart menu option. So we need to tap that up to bring the different se uh, settings for this particular extension. And here we have three different uh, options. The first is the settings then the Chrome schedule and the email configuration. So we'll go through each of them one by one. So under the settings, we have a number of options. Under the Chrome schedule, we can set at the time when the uh, Chrome should run. And uh, under the email configuration, we have a number of options to set up the email template there. So uh, let's go through each of them one by one and uh, let's see how to uh, basically configure this extension in the first place so uh, the very first option that we have is to enable the abandoned cart so by choosing a yes the admin can enable this module otherwise you can keep it disabled by selecting the no option then we have the ask for abandoned cart now here the admin can set up uh, the time in hours and after these hours the cart would be abandoned so you can set up the cart abandonment hours after which a cart would be abandoned then we have the days for abandoned cart here the admin can set up the time in days the first email will be sent to the customer between hours for abandoned cart and days for abandoned cart for the abandoned cart so whenever the cron will run with this time period so basically you can set up these the hours and the days uh, and uh, after that we have a follow-up for second mail now the admin can set up uh, the time in days and after these days the second email would be sent to the customer for cart abandonment whenever the cron would run and lastly we have a follow up for third mail and here also the admin can set up the time in days and after these days third mail would be sent out to the customer for the cart abandonment whenever the cron would run so these were the basic settings for this uh, 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 extension and now let's come to the uh, cron schedule now here the admin can schedule or set up cron time for automatically uh, sending the mail to the customer for the abandoned cart so you just need to run a command that would be php bin for slash magento cron colon run to uh, run the, the uh, this particular cron at the scheduled time and the, uh, lastly we have the email configuration and from here the admin can enable or disable the auto mail which will be sending uh, the mails to the customer and the admin can enter the name of the admin his, himself within the mail and his email id as well 
So uh, the admin can, uh, here the admin can also choose abandoned cart mail template. So here we can set up the abandoned cart uh, email uh, template, the first abandoned cart email template and uh, similarly the second abandoned cart email and the third abandoned cart mail template as well and uh, alongside we can also set up the content for the mail so like uh, we have the first one then we'll set up the uh, content for the first one then we'll select the uh, template for the second uh, email that will be sent out to the customer so we can set up the second uh, abandoned cart mail content and similarly the third one and uh, first we need, just need to allow the auto email to customer as yes then the admin needs to enter his uh, name his email address and uh, we are done configuring the email settings as well and lastly you just need to tap the save button here at the top to uh, save the configuration settings and uh, now let me take you to the front end and let's see how this uh, extension actually works so uh, for that let's go to the front end now but uh, before uh, we proceed further and uh, see what actually how actually the uh, the uh, exchange how the extension uh, exactly works uh, before that i would uh, like to take you back to the uh, configuration panel here and on the side uh, uh, side panel here in the admin configuration you can see the web cool abandoned cart menu option is there so after you've configured here you can navigate to this uh, particular sub menu option and here well, what the admin can find is the uh, complete customer list who have abandoned the cart we also have the abandoned cart sent mails the mails that have been sent out and we have the option to see the abandoned cart reports as well so uh, for example on the abandoned cart customer list the admin would be able to see the customer email the name and uh, the creation date the uh, uh, number of items within the uh, cart and uh, the action column as well wherein the admin can uh, individual check the individual details uh, for each of the customers let me tap this up and open it up in the new window so under the abandoned cart customer list the admin can see all the all of the customers who have abandoned their products within the cart itself so uh, here you can see the abandoned cart uh, customer details are visible the customer name email items that were in the cart number of items and the total amount for of that particular product whether the coupon was applied or not when it was created updated along with the uh, ip address we can tap on the cart products to exactly see which product was in the cart and uh, we can also see whether any of the emails have been sent out to this particular customer or not so that was under the abandoned cart customer list the fir very first menu option here the customer details and the individual details can also be viewed for each of the respective customers so that was about the abandoned cart customer list and uh, the second was the abandoned cart sent mail so here the admin can see the sent mail list uh, the uh, along with the code id sent by sent to and the date when it was sent out and whether it was a manual or an automatic one if it was a manual one when if the admin sent it out manually then the mode would be manual otherwise with the cron runs on the scheduled time then it would set uh, as automatic here so that was about the abandoned cart sent mails and lastly we have the abandoned cart reports so let me take you to that page and here we have the uh, report for the abandoned cart you can check the current year stats current month statistics current week statistics how many mails were sent out how many carts were recovered and the number of abandoned carts as well so that was about the configuration and the options at the admin's end and let me go back to the front end and uh, let me show you how this extension basically works at the front end as well so uh, here i am on the uh, store front end and i have this product here fusion backpack 
so what I'll do is uh, I'll edit to the cart and uh, after adding it to the cart it has been now okay it has been added to the cart so what I'll do is I'll just uh, do one thing I'll just first log in to my account there and uh, after that we'll just leave uh, it out we'll just abandon the cart so right now we have these two uh, products within the uh, cart let's edit them here so right now basically I'm using the test at the rate of webcool.com this is the account of the customer that I'm trying to use I've the two products and uh, I'll just sign out now from my account without making a purchase there for the product so uh, now let me go back to the admin backend panel on the abandoned cart customer list uh, and I've reached that by tapping the side uh, panel menu option and tapping the abandoned cart customer list and here you can see that the test at the rate of webcool.com John and uh, here you can see that the number of items within the cart it is showing as two let me tap the individual details and let's see the individual details here so the cart details are the cart details are the name of the customer the email items in the cart total amount whether the coupon has been applied or not the IP address now let me go to the cart products here we can see that the fusion backpack and the calcium supplement option with 30 uh, tablets are visible so these were the products that I had added into my uh, cart and after that I signed out of my account there I abandoned the cart uh, with the products within that cart so uh, now from here the admin can tap the same mail to send the uh, mail to the uh, customer so uh, before that uh, let me tap the send mail button and it will uh, send out a reminder to the customer so let's tap a send mail and let's uh, type in a uh, like a demo or uh, what we say as the mail body content Okay, so I've uh, just entered some content here and uh, I'll just tap the send mail button and this would send out the uh, what we say as the reminder mail to the customer to complete the purchase of the products that he has added in the cart and has just left them out there within the cart itself and here is the uh, mail that the customer has received so we had entered uh, the uh, content for that uh, mail as your purchase is not complete kindly proceed further to complete it so we can add a link as well within that mail so that the customer can tap that link to uh, directly reach to the product page once again and, uh, and uh, that was much about the uh, abandoned cart email reminder for Magento 2 and uh, hope this video helped you out so uh, if you have any questions or queries regarding this extension then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of or you will raise a ticket at webpool.uvitas.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead